All right, welcome to your quick lesson on barbershop music. I'm going to go ahead and share this presentation with y'all. Hopefully, that's the correct one. Yes. All right, so barbershop, exclamation point, is really cool. It's fun to sing. Let's talk about it. So first of all, what is barbershop? Um, this is a picture of a very old quartet called the Bartlesville Barflies. Um, that's probably what you think of when you think of barbershop music, maybe, if you've ever heard of it is um, four old guys uh, with mustaches in like striped uh, tuxedo vests and bow ties and stuff like that. Um, it did used to kind of be like that, um, but it's not really like that so much anymore unless we're kind of making fun of it. So barbershop is actually just technically a type of acapella. Um, Y'all probably know that acapella just means singing without the use of instruments. So barbershop is a type of acapella that uses four-part harmony specifically, and no vocal percussionist. So it's not quite the same thing as pentatonics, but it's similar because there's no instruments. Barbershop started with um, African-American pop and gospel quartets, and it's uh, evolved a lot since then. That was a long time ago. Um, the first official organization, though, um, was founded in 1938 by a guy named O.C. Cash. So before that, it was being sung just informally and then in 1938 people decided we want to do this together we want to have contests we want to have meetings and conventions and stuff like that um so they founded a society that was called the society for the preservation and encouragement of barbershop quartet singing in america otherwise known as spebsqsa um which was kind of an inside joke and then recently just in the last several years they changed that name uh to be called the barbershop harmony society and that was actually just a men's um, singing society for a long time. They've since opened it up to um, other genders and uh, quartets. So after that, there were two other organizations founded in the U.S. The first one was um, Sweet Adeline's International, which was founded in 1948. That is an all-women's barbershop organization. And then Harmony Incorporated, which was founded in 1959, which is also an all-women's organization. So the biggest difference between barbershop and choral music is probably how we speak about the voice parts. So no matter whether, um, whether you are singing in an SSAA group or an SATB group or a TTBB group, um, but in barbershop, we all call it the same parts. So I'm just going to talk to you now about what those parts are called when they're in like SSAA voices. So if you're a soprano or an alto, this is the type of group you could sing in. So the lead um, is the name for the barbershop voice part that sings the melody. So in, uh, in SATV land, in chorus land, um, usually the melody is sung by the soprano ones or the highest voice part. So lead is actually the second highest voice part, but they're the ones that get the melody. And that voice part lives in kind of like a soprano to alto one-ish range. So sometimes if you have like an alto-y kind of voice, but um, you don't like to sing harmony, lead is actually a really good voice part for you. The next part I'm gonna talk about is bass, which sounds really low. Um, and basses in SSAA groups do sing the low harmonies. Um, and they sing mostly the like foundational notes that kind of support the chord like a bass would in SATB land. Um, but they sing in an alto two range. So if you've got kind of a deeper alto voice, that would be the one for you. The tenor part sings the high harmonies, but so they're in the soprano one range, but it's much quieter than soprano. Still got to be like present and bright and there though, but it is soprano one range. Then the baritones <laughs> sing whatever is left over, basically. Their part can be really challenging. Uh, so it can go above or below the lead part, but it pretty mostly lives in the alto one range. And it sometimes sounds kind of similar to alto one, but sometimes it's a little bit more challenging. So I'm just going to show you how you would read that um, in this kind of situation here. So this is an excerpt from a song um, that is Barbershop for SSAA. So up here, normally what you would see is soprano one, soprano two, alto one, alto two. And the soprano one part would have the stems pointing up. The soprano two part would have the stems pointing down. The, the alto one part would have the stems pointing up down here. And then the alto two part would have the stems pointing down. So 
that pretty much goes in the same way for barbershop. We just call it something else. So this would be tenor, this would be lead, this would be baritone, and this would be bass. The other thing to pay attention to is the clefs we use. Um, tenor, or sorry, treble clef is what's used for just the, um, for the tenor and lead part for that top line. And then baritone and bass actually use this um, bass clef that's up an octave, is what that little eight means. So that means this um, G right here is not like a SATB bass G. It's not down here. It's just up here. Uh, so it's an octave higher than it would normally be. So that means you can't actually sing those notes if you're a baritone or a bass. They're not gonna like growl out of your face. So we're gonna listen to some quartets and um, see if we can figure out who is singing which voice part. So I'm actually gonna switch to headphones here so that we don't get um, a bunch of random feedback and stuff. Um, and what I would like you to do while we're listening to these different groups, I'll give you a little bit of an, I'll give you a little bit of an introduction to, to each of them. Um, but what you're going to do while you're watching and listening to them is try to figure out who's singing tenor, lead, baritone, and bass. So let me find my first one. This first quartet uh, is going to be called The Buzz, and they won um, the Sweet Adelines International Competition a while ago. And this is actually from 2015 because they're still kind of um, performing around once in a while today. So see if you can figure out while you're watching this who is singing which voice part. Heartache, such heartache, I never thought I'd feel such heartache, but he broke my heart in three places, Seattle, Chicago, and New York. Chases, sister, I trailed him like a hawk. It started in the moonlight, we drifted on a lake. He'd start to go, I'd whisper, oh, give my heart a break. He broke my heart in three places, Seattle, Chicago, and East Point. West Point followed him around. The bars at night are out of sight. Yeehaw! Down by the Ohio, the Ohio. He hugs and kisses and he lies like a rug. Oh, what a mug in Georgia, broke my heart in Georgia. in California, he was a jerk, chased him here from Albuquerque, friends told me it wouldn't work, now it's driving me berserk, he broke my heart in one, two, three, four places, Toledo, Baltimore, Minneapolis, and St. Paul, that's not all, he broke my heart in all five places, Miami, Denver, Beach, Chattanooga, and Montreal, it started in Savannah, we landed in Salt Lake, in Kokomo, I whispered, oh, give my heart a Break, he broke my heart. Wheeling, West Virginia, Sacramento, California, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Chiricahua, Arizona, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Natchitoches, Louisiana, and our personal favorite, Indianapolis, Indiana, Anaconda, Montana, Smoky Mountain, North Carolina, Marietta, South Carolina, Abercrombie, North Dakota, Running Water, South Dakota. I'm so so I can never say that again, and it's really been hot this week. And nice. Yeah, not doing that anymore. Besides Seattle and Nashville and New York. You know what? I should continue sharing so you can still see what they look like and which person I'm asking about. So the buzz, they're pretty good. And they've 
ha don't sing all the time anymore. So it's pretty cool that they can still do stuff like that. Um, so I'll kind of back up a smidge so you can see their faces. That's a good one. Um, so this person on the left, go ahead and type into the chat, what voice part do you think she sings? Is it tenor, lead, baritone, or bass? So if you said baritone, you're correct. So she's the one that was singing all those extra notes. And how about her? What part was she singing? Type it in the chat. If you said bass, you are correct. And what part was she, she singing? Go ahead and type in the chat. If you said lead, you're correct. She sings the melody. And this last one here, what part does she sing? If you said tenor, you are correct. So she's got those, um, those high harmonies. I also wanted to mention um, the reason they're wearing crowns is because when you win Sweet Adeline's or Harmony Incorporated International as a quartet, um, your quartet gets crowns and you get to actually keep them. And then every time you perform, you get to wear crowns together, which is like a really cool thing. So that is the buzz. I will stop sharing them now. The next quartet we're going to look at, I believe, yeah, the next quartet we're going to look at is called After Hours. So After Hours is a quartet that won um, the Barbershop Harmony Society International Competition, International Quartet Competition in 2018. And they're going to sing a Frank Sinatra song called The Coffee Song. Um, so... Uh, again, while we are watching them, go ahead and see if you can figure out which part each one of these guys is singing. Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the billions. So they gotta find those extra cups to fill. Cups to fill. They got an awful lot of coffee. Can you get your coffee down in Brazil? You can't get cherry soda, cause they've got to fill that quota. And the way things are, I bet they never will. They've got a zillion tons of coffee in Brazil. Tomato juice. tomato juice, you'll see, what'll you see? No potato juice, no. Cause the plan is down in Santos, all say no, no, no. You know the politician's daughter was, was accused of drinking water and was fined a great big $50 bill. bill. They've got an awful lot of coffee. Date a girl and find out later She smells just like a percolator Her perfume was made right on the grill Why they could percolate the ocean in Brazil Way down there in Brazil And when their ham and eggs need savor Coffee ketchup gives flavor Coffee pickles way outsell the deal Put coffee in the coffee in Brazil. No tea, no tea, or tomato juice. juice. You'll see, no, no potato juice. juice. Potato, I say no. The planners down in Santa all say no, no, no. Coffee with a cruller on. Dunkin' doesn't take a lot of skill. Don't take skill. Yeah, they've got a lot of coffee. Oh, we yeah. talking about cafe. they got, got a lot of java. You better save yeah. some for your mama. They've got, got a lot of mocha. In Brazil. Oh no, go back, show me these boys. All right. 
So again, trying to figure out who sings what part. This one might have been a little bit more obvious because they each kind of have a little solo. Uh, so this guy over here on the left, type in the chat, what part do you think he sings? Tenor, lead, baritone, or bass? And if you said tenor, you'd be correct. He sings the high harmonies. Um, so it sounds a little bit different than in like SSAA land. Obviously they're singing in like TTBB land, but we're still calling it tenor lead baritone bass. So next one, what part does he sing? Go ahead and type into the chat. If you said lead, you are correct. He's the one singing the melody. That's kind of like a tenor two vocal range for guys. And next guy, what part does he sing? If you said bass, you are correct. He sings the low harmonies and it kind of has those like foundational notes, just like in SATV and choral music. And last guy, what part does he sing? Process of elimination. So if you said baritone, you'd be correct. He sings the leftover notes. He did have like a little solo in the middle though where he had the melody for a bit. So that happens sometimes, but mostly he just sings whatever's left over. I also want to point out with these guys, just because I know them personally, so it's kind of interesting. Um, not Most barbershoppers are not professional musicians. Most barbershoppers are just people who want to sing like on the side in their life. Um, like people who have a different job and they want to be able to sing in a group, but they don't have like the skill or the desire to do it professionally um often end up singing barbershop and it's a really cool thing because that means like you can get good at it no matter what your musical background is um so if you end up like singing in middle school and then singing in high school and then you go into college and you can't fit it into your schedule anymore there are barbershop choruses and quartets and singers everywhere so it's a really cool thing to be able to do like for the rest of your life if you want to have a singing outlet so for example for these guys he is a chorus teacher and he is a chorus teacher and this guy happens to be a professional musician he sings in voices of liberty at disney world in the epcot park if any of you have been there but this guy and i think this maybe has changed recently but the last time that i spoke to him he was a manager at a caribou coffee um so yeah <laughs> He is not a professional musician. They do get paid to sing as a group, but that's not their, um, that's not how they make a living. That's just kind of an extra thing they like to do. All right, so the next group we're going to show you is called Halo. Um, and Halo is a women's quartet. Uh, they have not won in um, either of these competitions, but um, they're also a really awesome group, and they're going to be singing an older barbershop song with a new kind of twist on it, and it's called I Got Rhythm. So here is Halo. <laughs> Days can be sunny with never a sigh. Don't need when money can buy. Ruth and the tree sing their day full of song. Why shouldn't I sing along? Lately I'm so true all the day. Happy with my lot. How did I get that way? Look, take a look, just one look at what I've got. I'm so happy with my lot. Just look at what I've got. See what I've got. What I've got. Oh, 
so you can see all of them here. Um, all right, so from left to right, this first one on the left, what part does she sing? Type in the chat if you think you know. If you said baritone, you are correct. She sings the leftover notes. It's kind of in an alto one-ish range. And her, type in the chat if you think what part, if you think you know what part she sings. If you said bass, you would be correct. She is, she's got a monster range. She's got like one of the craziest bass, like female bass voices I've ever heard. She's amazing. And next over, what part does she sing? If you said lead, you would be correct. And last one over here, what part does she sing? If you said tenor, you would be correct. And she was the one who started holding that like really long note towards the end, like right before the end. Um, that's what we call a hanger or a post. Um, and that means like somebody's holding a note while everybody else is doing a bunch of stuff around their note. So. She's holding that note, and then actually later, our bass friend takes the, the post, and then everybody else moves around her, too. So there's actually two posts at the end of that one, which is pretty cool. Um, and I did just want to point out also, um, one of the things that barbershoppers do for fun is just kind of stand around at conventions when we meet each other and sing what's called barbershop tags. So a tag is the end, just the very end of a barbershop song. And a lot of people will memorize all four parts, tenderly, bare bass, to a bunch of barbershop tags. That way, when we're standing around with each other, with our friends at conventions, like from all over the world that we never get to see, um, a cool thing to do is that, like, if you know all four parts, you can teach them to the three people in front of you, and we can just sing it together, just like a little short part of the song. So the end of that song that kind of starts with the... Um, with the post from our tenor friend and the post from our bass friend. If somebody knew all four parts to that and they were standing around with three other singers, they could say, hey, we should sing this tag. And then they could sing each part to each of those people and then they'd be able to sing it even though they didn't know the song before. That's kind of a fun thing that we get to do as barbershoppers with our friends that you don't really necessarily get to do in other situations. We've got one more group to look at today. This group is called the Newfangled Four. The last time they competed, they were sixth place in the Barbershop Harmony Society Quartet competition. And they're actually not together anymore, which is sad, but um, they're also pretty great. So one last time, see if you can figure out who is singing which voice part here. Hey, Newfangled Four, you are, are you ready for? You are for Sounds like it's for the birds. Hey guys, it's new, it's true, you see. Uh, Can we sing it in four part harmony? I guess we'll see. What is it? Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, wait, If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound 
Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Humbiddle-diddle-diddle-humbiddle-i. Time to sing the words you guys when trying to express oneself. It's frankly quite absurd. Absurd to leaf through lengthy lexicons. You find the perfect word. A little spontaneity will really make your day. Your day so Joey Buss will sing it in the new bangle for way. Come now, don't delay. Scary carnivore, Tyrannosaurus Even though it is something quite atrocious If you sing it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Superpower, Fergalicious, definition Oh, dose it! Sure, my dudes, now I'm your guy. Now Gandhi fasted so long that his frame was rather frail. And when he eat the strangest foods, his breath was often stale. He walked the foot so hard in bottoms were his diagnosis. Super callous, fragile, mystic, hex by halitosis. Halitosis. You didn't make that up, I bet. I stole it from the internet. From cyberspace, so run my baby jacket from the net. The information superhighway. Anyway, I mean, I think it's your turn. The melody I haven't learned. I only know the baritone. That's okay, you're not alone. I don't want to do it! Supermassive, black, holistic, baritone, adocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you lead things out enough, then no one else will notice. Super mega califragilistic, XB audacious. Who wrote this awful chart for you? It's Anthony Bartholomew. What do you think we should do, my redhead friend Jackson? Let's ask the audience to see if they can pronounce it. I bet they think they can, but we all know they're full of sh sharpness. One, two, three, it's... Hey, not bad, you did so right, you said the word, we knew it. Let's shift it to the judges now to see if they can do it. No, too late, you blew it, you blew it, you blew it, you, blew it. you see there's nothing to it. Now watch us sing right through it, the whole dang word, the whole dang word. It's supercalifragilistic, and linguistic, supercalifragilistic. Nothing else rhymes with istic, supercalifragilistic. XP. Okay, so last time from left to right, uh, what part do you think he sings? Go ahead and type it in the chat. That one should have been obvious because his like post was at the very end. So if you said tenor, you'd be correct. He sings the high notes. And at the end, or what we call the tag, um, he had that post. So he was holding the note while everybody else was singing things around him. And next guy, our little redhead friend, what part does he sing? Type in the chat. If you said lead, you would be correct. He sings the melody for the most, most of the time. The others had some like solos occasionally, but for the most part, he sings the melody. And this guy, what part does he sing? And if you said bass, you'd be correct. He sings the low foundation notes. And our last friend on the far right, what part does he sing? Again, process of elimination. If you said baritone, You'd be correct. He gets the leftover notes, and then sometimes he gets randomly gets to sing the melody. Um, so he got he has like a little solo for a second, that kind of thing. Um, I also want to point out none of those guys are professional musicians. Um, none of them uh, teach. I don't think they all have worked in um, like fast food restaurants and the service industry and stuff like that. But none of them are professional musicians. They're just all really good singers, and they just like to do barbershop for fun. Um, so that's like a pretty cool thing that, like I said, you can literally do forever should you desire to do that. So those are, those are some quartets. Um, barbershop choruses do exist as well, um, but we're not going to look at any of those videos today. Next thing we're going to do for just about five minutes here is try to figure out what part 
would you sing if you were going to sing in a quartet? So here's just a little snippet of um, the song we were looking at before, and you might recognize it if you've seen Hercules. Um, so we're just going to do, I'm going to sing you like a short piece of each part. You can try to sing each piece with me and decide if that feels comfortable to you. So first one we're going to do is lead. And remember, when we're looking at the parts from top to bottom, this is tenor, lead, baritone, and bass. So the lead is the second highest voice right here. So just make sure you're looking at that. So if you want to try to sing lead, here's what it sounds like. We'll just do a couple of measures. It's going to go. No chance, no way, I won't say no, no. We're just going to do that much because that's a pretty good um, demonstration of the lead range in this song. If you would like to try to sing lead and see if it fits your voice or if you just want to do it for fun, go ahead and sing with me. One, two, three, four. No chance, no way, I won't say no, no. So that's lead. If that feels comfortable for you, um, you might be a lead singer. Or if you just like singing the melody a lot, if you want to be like a, the main part, you maybe want to sing lead. Next one we're going to do is not on this page. We're going to do bass here. Um, so remember, bass is the bottom part. We're going to start at you swoon. Bass is going to sound like this. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. So if you are interested in trying to sing that, go ahead and sing it with me. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. So that's the bass part. It usually falls in that range. Do, 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 do. And next one we're going to look at is tenor. So remember, tenor is the top part here. It's the highest voice part. And tenor sings the high harmonies, um, but is a little bit quieter than soprano one, since tenor's not singing the melody all the time. So we're going to skip that do. We're going to start at you swoon. It goes. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. If you are interested in trying to sing the tenor part, go ahead and sing with me. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. So that's tenor. And remember, the last part is going to be baritone, and it's going to be the stems up part right here. Um, so baritone uh, can be, be kind of difficult. I chose a section that's a little bit easier just so you can kind of feel where it sits in your voice. Baritone right here is going to sound like this. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. If you would like to try to sing baritone, go ahead and try it with me. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. So that's baritone there. Um, we'll do all of that one more time, just so you can kind of, now that you have them in your head, if you want to try a different one, you can kind of start to figure it out. So here's the lead one more time. No chance, no way, I won't say no, no. Go ahead and sing with me if you would like to try lead. One, two, three, four. No chance, no way, I won't say no, no. Moving on to bass, sounds like this. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it, oh, oh. Try that with me if you would like. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it, oh, oh. And next one's tenor, here's tenor. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it, oh, oh. Try that with me if you would like to try tenor. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. And last one, baritone again. Sounds like this. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. Go ahead and try baritone with me if you would like. One, two, three, four. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. There's your baritone part. So hopefully um, after those, you might have a better idea of what part you might sing. And if you don't know for sure, that's okay too. So we're going to leave this last little bit for questions. So I'm going to stop sharing this video and go back to real life in the present, Miss Hine.